here we have the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. Um, this is an Evolution 8, this is my car, and somebody, I get a lot of people ask me about coil on plug issues. One of the really common things that uh, happens with these is they'll start to misfire. Um, this is a uh, coil on plug, coil on plug, and then there's little pigtails that go there. This is known as a waste spark system. It's, uh, it's actually a pretty clever way to um, design um, uh, digital fuel injection and ignition. But um, what happens is, is every time this, these two cylinders come to the top, whether it's the, the firing, the power stroke, or the exhaust stroke, it'll spark. So it's just a, a way to save money, save time. Um, anyway, uh, the coil on plug units here and here are very expensive, um, 100, 150, maybe even higher sometimes to replace. And the truth is, is you very often, most often, don't even need to actually replace the um, coil on plugs, you can get what's known as a boot kit. And they're 10 to $15 versus $150. So a um, fair amount of money. This is my car. It's fairly basic, got bolt-ons, whatever. It's right at 300, upgraded diffs. Anyway, I'm gonna pull the um, coil on plug there and show you what it looks like. So here is one of the coil on plug units. Sorry for the bad lighting. Um, now, what a lot of people don't know is from the factory or from the dealer, they'll show you the entire coil on plug unit like this. What they don't tell you is that this bottom whole section right here is replaceable as a separate unit. And 99% of the time, that is what will fix your problem. So right now, I'm going to go pull it off and show you. So there it is, popped off, um, just pops off right like that. Um, so that is there, there's a little spring, um, it makes contact. With the inside of the coil right in there. Sorry, it's tough, there you can see it. And um, <clears throat> that spring in here, there's the, bottom of the coil unplug, that spring will get corrosion, stuff like that. You'll start to see current leakage, current arcing off of these points here, and that'll be the telltale um, hesitation under boost, stalling under boost. Run fine, run perfect at idle, run perfect at cruising, but you know, when it's time to really get on it, and um, you know, under high load, going up a hill, racing somebody, you know, whatever. Um, I mean, the car will just uh, uh, not perform how it's supposed to. Anyway, so that's